Hi everyone, welcome back. In next couple of lectures, we are going to implement list employee feature in a React application. Well, if you look at the screenshot over here, we are going to design the UI that looks something like this. Okay, so basically, we are going to create a web page. It will display a list of employees in a table. All right. In this lecture, we are going to create a list employee component, and in upcoming lectures, we are going to connect our React application to the REST API and we'll populate the response of the REST API in a list employee component. All right. So in this lecture, let us focus on creating React list employee component. Well, here are the development steps. First, we will create a React functional component named a list employee component. Next, we'll prefer the dummy data to display in the HTML table. Next, we'll write the JSX code to display list of employees in a HTML table. Next, we'll import and use list employee component in a app component and finally, we'll test all these changes. Okay, so the first step is create a React functional component named list employee component. So let us go to our project in VS Code and here go to SRC folder. Within that, let's create a new folder and let us call it as components. Perfect. So within a components folder, let us create a file. Let us give name as list component or list employee component. Next, let us give extension as JSX. Perfect. Next, within this file, let's create a functional component named a list employee component. Well, instead of writing the same code to create the functional component, what we can do is we can use the code snippets. Well, VS Code has extension that is React code snippets. So we can use this extension to quickly create the code snippets or the templates. Okay. For example, go to extensions over here. And here just search for react snippets all right and you can see the extension over here es7 plus react redux react you need to snippets so just click on it and go ahead and install this extension well this extension is pretty useful because this extension provides a commonly used code snippets okay so go ahead and install it so i have already installed that's why you can see uninstalled so let me quickly uninstall it so you can see the install button over here so go ahead and just click on it so once you install it you can you know use the react code snippets all right perfect next go to list employee component.jsx file so let me close this all right so here let us use react code snippets command to create the functional component so just type react functional component export and hit enter and there we go you can see we got the functional component code snippet so instead of typing you know the same code what we can do is we can use this kind of code snippets to quickly create a code like this okay well notice here we are using javascript function to create the functional component but we can also use javascript arrow function to create the functional component well i prefer using arrow functions over a javascript function so here let us go and let us use javascript arrow function so you can also use the plain javascript function as well all right so here let me remove this and just type the command react arrow function component export okay just type raf c so this gives react arrow function export component like this okay perfect next let us take a look into next step next step is prefer dummy data to display in a html page well, in HTML table, we need to display something, right? For that, let us prefer the dummy data. So let's go back to list component over here. Within a list employee component, let's create an array. So const, let us give variable name as dummy data. So this is the array. So within array, let us create an employee object. So here, first name, let us give id first, id1. And then first name Ramesh, last name Padatari, and then email Ramesh at the rate gmail.com. Perfect. Now we have created one object in array. Next, let me copy this. Let me create few more objects. So here id2 
and then post name Umesh, last name Fartari, email Umesh, next ID3, and here let's give post name Rajkumar, last name Fartari, email Rajkumar at the rate gmail.com. Perfect. Now we have created a dummy data to display in the HTML table. Next, let us take a look into next step. Next step is write JSX code to display a list of employees in an HTML table. So let us go ahead and let us write the JSX code to display the dummy data in a HTML table. So let's go back to our component and here go to return statement. So let me maximize this. So go to return statement and let us remove this. All right. So here let us first have a page heading. Let us say list of employees. So this is the page heading. Next, let's create the HTML table. So here table and within table we have table header. Within a table header we have table columns. So the table columns should be in a table row. Perfect. Let us give a column name as employee name or employee first name. Perfect. Next, let us give one more column name that is employee last name. Next, let us have one more column employee email ID. Perfect. So we can also display the ID as well. For that, let us create one more column over here. Let's call it as employee ID. Perfect. Now total we have four columns. Next, after table heading, let's create a table body. For that, let's have table body as table element. And next, let us have table row. Well, here we have array. We need to iterate over array and we need to display each object in a table row, right? So for that, what we can do is we can write the JavaScript code over here. So in order to write the JavaScript code within a JSX, we need to use open and close curly braces like this. So here let us call the mediator array. It has a map method. So let us call map method over here. And notice here map method takes a call wrap function. So let us pass the arrow function. Well, we can use map method to iterate over an array and display each object. So here let us pass the arrow function. So we can pass the employee object as a parameter to the arrow function and then plat arrow symbol and then here let us have a tr element that is table row all right so here let us remove this tr element because we need to iterate over an array and we need to display each row right perfect next each row should have a unique key for that let us use key attribute over here and then within a curly braces just pass employee dot id all right perfect next within a table row let us display the table data for that let's have a table data element and then within a curly braces employee dot id so this value should be populated in a employee id table column next table data element within a curly braces employee dot first name next td within a curly braces employee dot last name next td within a curly braces employee dot email perfect now we have written a code to iterate over an array and display each object in a row okay perfect next let us take a look into next step Next step is import and use list employee component in an app component. Next, let's go back to our project and go to app.jsx file. And here, instead of hello world, let us import list employee component. So here, just call list employee component, just close it and make sure that list employee component is imported at the top. Okay, so here we have unused import, so let us remove it. Perfect. So let us take a look at the next step. Next step is run and test the React application. Well, let us go back to our project and let us see our React application is running or not. 
So here go to the first terminal and notice you have React applications up and running. Next, let us go to browser and look at here the list of employees is displayed in the table, but the UI not looks good. So let us go and let us use Bootstrap CSS classes to style this page. Okay. So let us make this page beautiful by using Bootstrap CSS classes. So here just search for Bootstrap CSS or Bootstrap for you container. So we are using Bootstrap for you. So just search for Bootstrap for you container and click on the first link. So here you can see we have three containers, container, container plug and custom container. So let us use this container CSS class to display this data in a container. Okay. So let us go to Visual Studio Code ID and go to list employee component and go to this do here and here let us use class name property and just paste this container CSS class. Okay. Just save this file and let's go back to browser and now you can you can see here this list of employees page you know displayed in the container next go to new tab and here just search for bootstrap for you table click on this first link and you can see the bootstrap CSS class table so let's copy this and go back to VS code and go to table element and here let us use class name property and just paste this table CSS class next go back to browser let us use few more bootstrap CSS classes so here let us use table stripped so let me copy this and let me paste it over here and let us use one more CSS class that is table bordered okay so this is the table bordered okay next let's go back to browser and go to our react application and there we go now you can able to see the table looks good right and you can look at the page heading the page heading should be displayed in a center right so let's go back to our code and here let's use bootstrap CSS class that is text center let us save this file and let's go, let's go back to browser and there we go you can able to see list of employees table is displayed at a center all right well let me recap what we have done in this lecture we have created a functional component named list employee component next we have preferred a dummy data to display in the HTML table. Next, we have written a JSX code to display a list of employees in the HTML table. Next, we ran the React application and we have seen that a list of employees is displayed in a HTML table. And we have also used a bootstrap CSS classes to style this list of employees page. All right, great. In next lecture, we will connect our React application to get all employees rest api and will populate the response of that rest api in a table so instead of displaying the dummy data we are going to display the real data that we will get from the rest api all right great i will see you in the next lecture